Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh, let's have a little look at the calendar, see what's coming up in the next couple of days. Oh, two days with no birthdays. Very nice indeed. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do this morning is to pick up my pieces of iron. Uh, we have... Probably the next thing we need to smelt will be a bit more gold, I think. And we now have enough stuff that we can make a couple of sprinklers again. I think I'll go put them out in the garden. And that will be great. Cranberries, here we come. Oh, got some poppies that have ripened today. The cabbage is on its way. We are going to be rich by autumn. Definitely, definitely going to have this finished. One, two, yeah, seven more sprinklers. I don't need to count them. I know six plus one. Seven more sprinklers and we will be done. Hello, little rabbit. Tidy up in here. These guys are always going to be happy now, as long as there's hay, they will be happy. Because they get automatically fed, it's so good. I need to go and see if Robin is down here uh, working on the barn. Oh, all the ducks are out. Who let you out? Oh, it was me. I thought I saw one there. I thought I saw the... Aha, I knew you were there. Three, four, five, six. Not that I actually know how many ducks I have, so why I'm counting them, I have no idea. My inventory is full. My inventory is full. Yes. Love. Eggs that I could put in the chest though, so that's fine. The dogs did very well today. They need a bit of feeding. This is the problem when you try and give people multiple presents, is that you end up with an inventory full of stuff. It would be good if there was some sort of catch-all thing. That you could give to people and it would be good for everyone. Sashimi seems to be the best one of those, honestly. But mostly you just have to give people all their favourite things and then they'll be happy. Now then, let's let the cows out. And the goats out. Hello guys. How you doing? Not very happy. I think you're hungry. I think someone forgot to feed you. But never fear, you're getting an auto feeder soon. And then I will not be able to forget. Do you know one thing I'm going to need by next year is another silo. Need to get that sorted. Or we're not going to make it through the year. No milk today. I don't think so anyway. No. Oh. Light likes me two and a half. That's good. Halfway through. The cows seem to have forgiven me for not feeding them. So that's nice of them. I will make some cheese. Ah, they're coming out to play! Hello! Okay, now we've done all of that. Let's have a little look and check up on our... Oh, still going? Seriously? Well, I'll put some stuff away anyway. Don't have enough geos to make it worth a trip. No. 
could go and could go and do fishing, or we could go and see the. I think fishing is going to be the way the way to go. Honestly, how much room do I have in my inventory if I sort it? Not very much. Um, I put anything away in there. It's all flowers and blueberries. Put them away. Those can go in there. That's enough room for some fish, definitely. Alright, let's go get Corthok and do some fishing. And I am thinking... Well, apparently a tilapia is a early morning fish. So I needed to have gotten that probably a little bit earlier in the day. So I think we need to get the sturgeon, but I think before we get the sturgeon we need to go see Willy and get some sort of bobber on here that will help us to... Oh, hi guys. Oh, I should talk to you really. Miss Penny makes me read a new book every week. At least she lets me pick them sometimes. Hello. Uh, the mountains look nice today, don't they? Jas, come here. Talk to me. Sometimes I look for cro crawdads in the river. Oh, they must be like sea life or something. Don't tell Aunt Marnie, but I fed one to a cow once. <sighs> You terrible girl. you got more to say though. Hang on. Come back. She loved it. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Okay, uh, I need to stop talking to people quite so much because I'll never get to actually go and buy my things if I follow everyone around the village. So let's just pop down here. And see what we think will help with the sturgeon. Ah, uh, is Willie's not open on a Saturday? Oh no, what a pain. Okay, well, we'll have to try and see if we can get the sturgeon without it. I don't know if that will really help. Seems like a good day to go swimming. I think so too. I can't go in Elliot's house yet. He's one of the few people I can't get into their house. An uh, anchor. Oh, I could go and give that to Gunther. But I think I will just go up to the lake uh, first and see what we can do about the sturgeon because it is time critical. We're not, and we're not going to have much time to do anything really, are we? Oh, wasted the day looking after the chickens. Hi Maru, sorry I can't stop to chat. I, I'm really, 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 really busy. Okay. Up to my favourite little fishing spot here. I don't think I'm going to get the sturgeon without extra help, but... Ooh. That's not a sturgeon, I can tell straight away. Also, I'm using the wrong fishing rod. I'll catch them faster with this one, because I've got a special thing to make them bite faster. I need to steal, um, do I just, ah, uh, sorry I'm being a bit put off because someone's just started mowing their lawn outside and I'm like I really hope that no one can hear that. Stupid neighbours, they should know that you should mow your lawn in the night. Because people might be recording. Or 
trying to concentrate on fishing. I'm guessing this is not a good luck day today. But tomorrow, the first thing I'm going to do is go and get that tilapia fish. I'm going to go really early in the morning. As soon as I get up, the first thing I'll do is run down to the beach and fish. I'm determined to get those last little bits for the community centre. There he is. Oh, you little get. Come on. <sighs> Lost him. That was the most I've ever managed towards getting one, honestly. I think that might have been my one chance for the day, though. They're leading me a merry dance. That's not what I can tell. I used to think large mouth basses were hard to catch. Now I know better. Now I know things that are really hard to catch. My tackle was worn out. I didn't know it could wear out. That sucks. But I think I can make fishing tackle. I'm going to work out what I need to do to make it. Two iron bars so I can make a spinner. I think that's what I had. I can make a treasure hunter. Cork bobber. Oh, I can make those. Right. Increases the size of my fishing bar. That would be handy. Causes fish to escape slower when you aren't reeling them in. That's what I need. But I can make all these. I thought I had to buy them. Alright, let's go back and buy them. So what I want is probably... I do want the thing for the bite rate. So I need to go make some iron at home. Go smelt some up. Luckily, I went to the mines and I got loads of iron. Hi, Abigail. How you doing? She's looking forward to fall, the cool mountain breeze, the swirling red petals, the smell of mushrooms, sigh. Yeah, sounds good, doesn't it? Just make sure I don't have anything that's a good present for her. No. Unless she particularly likes anchors. What I do have, though, is a nice tulip for Evelyn, so let's go and give her that. So that she remembers to like me. I know that George like le likes leeks. I don't know if I've got any leeks. Can't make any sashimi. Don't have any eggs. That's fine. Not a problem. Just a little thought about getting some... Uh, getting a present to Evelyn. Oh, grapes. Yay. Nom, 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 nom. Did I just get two? That's awesome. Okay, right. Fishing bobbers. What do I need? Still don't know how to make bait. Like a worm bin thing for bait. Right, so... 
So that's the cork bobber. I will want one of those. I want another spinner. Two iron bar for a spinner. What's the other one? It's this one, the trap bobber. That's what I need the most. Right, it's copper bars for that. Do I happen to have a copper bar? Hey, that's handy. Put that gold away. I'm not going to need it for a minute. Um, I've got some copper. Yeah, I have copper bars, so that's cool. I might not even have sap. Because I might have made it all into fertiliser, but we'll see. Where will my iron go? I don't have any iron bars, so that'll be the next thing to put in the smelter. And then we can start off with some good fishing tackle tomorrow. Which will be really handy. Okay, so... Do I have anything? Oh yeah, I needed to find sap, didn't I? So let's do that while I'm waiting for the iron. Make sure I haven't left any in here, which I haven't. So any I have will be outside. There's some. I can make a trap bobber. I can put that straight on my fishing rod. So you get tackle. Is it tackle and bait? Must be, yeah. So it was really the trap bobber I needed. Um, the spinner I'll use to catch the tilapia, but the trap bobber will probably be what I'll need to use to, to catch the sturgeon. And I'll need probably the whole day to do that. That's fine. That's all right. We can We can do this. I need another fish chest, really. I need another of a lot of chests, but I don't have enough stone for it. One thing I could do actually now, because... Sorry, I didn't mean stone, I meant wood. But we've got a lot of stone, so I can make some cobblestone paths and actually fill in some of the gaps in my farm. I haven't done anything about the aesthetics of this farm in a little while, and it's looking a bit tatty. And no one wants a tatty farm. Fill in these little in-between areas as well. Make it look nice. I don't know how many I'm going to need, so we'll just do a few at a time. And then a couple around there. Ugh. Struck by lightning, one of my blueberry plants, or some horrible curse, I'm not sure which. Someone said it was lightning. And I believe them, because I believe everything my commenters say. They would never betray me. Probably another ten and we'll have this little bit of the farm done. And we just fill in any little bits of path elsewhere that we see. Oh, one there too. How much better does that look? There's a couple of bits along here I think I noticed were overgrown with a bit of grass, so let's get those cleared up. And all around the bee house. I don't know whether actually some of these I hadn't even filled in to start with. Because I know that when I was a bit low on stone I was just filling in sort of partial bits of the path. And it was just so I could get more of an idea of where things were going to go rather than particularly because I was being neat, so.
going to get a bit neater with it today. I want this place looking nice, you know. I spent a lot of time on this and uh, it's looking a little bit tatty. As I said, I don't want a tatty farm. Oh, apparently it's getting late. I spent too much time mucking around. So now I've got to go to bed. But that's okay because we've got all our fishing bits for the morning. I will get this fishing tank finished. Well, I won't actually because uh, I think the tiger trout is an autumn fish and that's the last one that I'll probably catch. That may well be the very last thing that I put into the community centre as a whole. More iron. We've got gold. But we don't have much quartz, so let's put some of that in. Keep it, you're not helping, mate. You're not helping. Get out of my way. And that's bedtime. And I haven't made any money today, but that's okay. Spreading weeds have caused damage to my farm, and it's a rainy day again. I hope that tilapias still uh, come out in the rain. I think they're all weather fish, so they should be all right. Okay, quickly, I'll put these... Oh, man, I didn't empty my inventory last night. So annoying. Oh, but the farm's looking nice now. I like this. Oh, stupid. That's better. Now we only have five more to make. We will have an entire massive field. Okay, quickly look at our post, because it doesn't take any time. I need truffle oil, don't ask me why. Probably to prompt me to get pigs, but I'm not going to get that for a while. Get back in there. You wait, I'll see Leah now. Okay, that's room for some fish. There's still room. Right, let's get it going. I need to be by the ocean early morning, getting stuff sorted. Oh, I left all the doors open. Oh well, sort that out later. Need to go. I'd like to get to make some sort of nicer looking paths and things. Sorry Shane, got a fish. With no bait. I wonder if Willie sells bait. I'll check. If he does, I'll buy some. But I'll start fishing first. And eventually he'll go in his shop at like nine o'clock, so. Oh, that was a toughy tuna. Okay. And that was with the trap bobber. I don't remember how difficult they were before though. Got it, right. Oh, Willie's going in the shop. Okay, I will wait long enough to get bait. Yeah, okay. See if he sells it. I don't know if he will or not. He does. Should have been doing this from the start. Okay, cool. To the lake. Thank 
you whoever it was in the comments who said I had to go really early morning to catch a tilapia because that was like the second fish I caught and it was great. Stupid things getting in my way. No time to stop. Must fish all day. Going to fish until I get the sturgeon. I am determined. I am determined to get as many fish as I can this episode. And then I'm going to be obsessive about getting the tiger trout. Okay. Uh, I, I do like this uh, this bit here for fishing. I find it a bit easier to see. Okay, Sturgeon, come on. You and me. Come on, come on, come on. That's not a Sturgeon. No way is that a Sturgeon. Nor is that. Could have probably got that tre treasure chest, but uh, I'm being lazy. I have enough treasure anyway, I just go to the mines and get it. Oh. You're not very perky fish, are you? I hope my trap bobber doesn't run out. My spinner lasted a while, so... That was a super slow fish, so it's like, ah, may as well get the treasure. Oh, that was worth getting. Woo! A stone and some bait. I always expect the fish to rise straight away, so when they stay on the bottom it sort of takes me by surprise a bit. What happened there? I think I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Maybe I got an achievement or something. Fishing four million times. No, you're not a sturgeon either. Where's the sturgeons? Do they not come out in the in the rain? Am I wasting the whole day fishing when they don't come out in the rain? Well, apparently they do. No, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's... Oh, I got you. <laughs> okay. Sorry about the dead air there. Hopefully you all had your hands in your, oh, your hearts in your mouths like I did there. I was like, oh, am I going to catch him? Trap Bobber made all the difference there. All the difference. It allowed me to go after it just for that extra couple of seconds. Still tough catch. Which means I'm going to complete two bundles, I think, in this fishing tank. So it will be the lake fish. Bundle completed. I get a nice dressed spinner, which will increase my bite rate. Very nice, thank you very much. And I will get for my tilapia. A warp totem to the beach. Okay. 
walk directly to the beach consumed on use. Oh, right, I see. So now we are just left with the tiger trout. Which I will be trying to get as soon as we get into autumn. So what else do we need in the community centre now? We need one piece of wool. Oh, do you know what I could do as well? Is I could put some money in here now. Because I'm getting quite rich. 25 and a 10,000. So I can do the 10,000. Next time I... Oh, reward. Lightning rod. Nice. Yeah, so next time I get a little bit of money, another 10,000 or so, I'll be able to complete that bundle. And then... It'll just be the bulletin board, and that is the rabbit's foot and the pomegranate. So I've got the... I think I've got the pomegranate tree planted and the rabbit's foot will come with when the rabbit grows up, hopefully. I need a truffle. I have the barn done to do that. Apples, which will come from an apple tree in fall. And that's it. That'll be it done. We are so on our way. Can't wait to get the wool though, because that's going to be the greenhouse. And that will be so good. Okay, Gorthok, off we go. But I feel a lot more happy with spending money on that now I've actually got the barn upgrades. I didn't want to spend money until I had the barn upgrades because I really just felt that um, I would need the money for something. But now I feel like, oh well, just spend the money. It's fine. I'll make more. Not a problem. Although towards the end of the year, uh, towards the end of the season, so probably we'll get one, maybe two more harvests of blueberries. Uh, towards the end of the season, we'll need to make sure we have enough money set by that we can get cranberry bushes, which will be fantastic. So I'm really hoping that one of these is pomegranate. I think it is. But let's go and have a look at the rabbit and see if it's ready to shed its fur yet. I don't know how long rabbits take to grow up. Still a baby. So apparently it takes ages for them to grow up. go and see the ducks and see the cows and see the goats. The ducks are starting to like me a little more now. Got one heart with quite a few of them. One and a half with some of them. Yeah, we're looking after the ducks a bit better now. Ethan like totally loves me. I think it's because I, he was the first duck, or she. I think she's a girl duck. I think all the ducks are girl ducks, and all the cows and the goats are all girls, and the rabbits are boys. Not that I'm sure they really care. Sell some mayonnaise today, I think. Sell some cheese and some goat's cheese. They're all things to sell. Um, I sell all the void eggs except for a couple because they're really building up and I don't need them. Because the only person that likes void eggs for a present is someone I have at eight hearts and apparently that doesn't decay, you see. Oh, it would help if we went to see the goats. It's a pretty much a race between the goats and the rabbits as to whether the goat will grow will give me a a large milk or whether the rabbit will grow up and give me wool first. Light has no milk. 
Jamie Sailor, do you have any milk? My inventory's full, apparently. So it is. Do I have any junk in here? No. Oh, I've got a piece of bait I can put in my fishing rod. Right, that'll do. Jamie Sailor looks really happy today. Oh yeah. Greenhouse, here we come. Greenhouse, here we come. Kothok, bear me to the community centre. I'm so excited. We got all the fishes and the large goat's milk on the same day. Now I just need the rabbit. So now I can plant all my strawberries and my star fruit and my rare seed. They'll all go in that greenhouse, I'll tell you that right now. Because it doesn't care about seasons. Running, 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 running. See the goats didn't want to be outdone by the rabbits, this is what it is. Done. And I get another cheese maker. I needed that so bad. Yes. Oh no! Oh, the Ginomos! Come to have a party. We're happy to help. It's not our house after all. Oh, look at the pantry. Doesn't it look lovely? Oh, it's got a lovely little... Dining room table and everything. And I get my star on the wall. Three stars. Fish tank, bulletin board. Safe. And we're done. I think it was not going to be too many more episodes before we're done with this. I think maybe well, we do two per day. So I think maybe another six or seven episodes and we will be finished. But I am very excited for the next episode because we'll get to play with the greenhouse. I'm really excited about that. I need to make some more sprinklers. I might even just pick up some of the sprinklers off the main bit of the farm. That might be the best thing to do for now. Um, and I'll probably get Iridium sprinklers in there as soon as I can. I haven't really talked to anybody in the last couple of days, so I'm actually thinking, how much stuff do I have? Lots of cheese and fish and things like that at the moment, so not very good present material. So we'll go and get some... Oh, those preserves need selling. Um, let's see if I can put some of these away. Hopefully some of them will stack. The tuna won't. Tuna are going to get made into sashimi. Because that's at least a decent present for someone. Um, and then I need to put some of these away. I'll take the preserves with me. Preserves make a good present as well. And I'm not so desperate for money that I really desperately need preserves. Um, we, were, we were gonna sell those eggs, weren't we? Oh, fine, I'll put you in. There's a couple of other things I could just sell. The diamonds I want to keep, they are good gifts. Um, a couple of frozen tears. I'm certain that that's not great. That's a good one for Emily. I'm going to sell a few of those just to make room. I'm not using them for anything. If I get a quest tomorrow asking for these things, I'm going to be really annoyed, but never mind. That's an artifact. That's a weird dwarf gadget thing. Lightning rod. I don't know where I would put a lightning rod, but I think it's going to be handy because it'll stop my crops getting lightninged. And that was happening a bit. So let's go put that down somewhere. So 
somewhere like far away. Maybe not right by my trees. That would be a bad idea. Um, somewhere kind of out the way. Maybe like up by grandpa's grave or something. Yeah, let's put it there. I don't know if it would particularly uh, matter where it's put, but uh, maybe one up there would have been good to like take it away from the crops. I, I don't really know. I might move it. I haven't decided yet. But it gets it out of my inventory anyway. Blueberry preserves. Lovely stuff. And I need something to replace it with. Probably more blueberries, honestly. We can go to the selling box then, sell a couple of things off, and then we can go to the saloon and see if anybody's there that wants anything. Um, I should take the aquamarine, because Emily will probably be there. I should take diamonds with me. I should take topazes with me. I should take a bar of iron or gold or something with me. Should be good for Clint if he's around. He drinks a lot in there. Berry preserves, cheeses, flowers. Okay, let's try that. Take oranges for Gus as well. Let's see, it's good because it's quite easy to find where Gus is. If I just knock those oranges off the tree, that'll be him sorted. I'll maybe take the peaches as well. No, I don't want to eat a blueberry. I want to get these peaches. Ah, oh, I took too long. They'll probably all be like... If I'm really quick, I might make it. I don't know when it shuts. I can't remember. I think it might be 11. So I think I might be too late, but we'll try. I've got nothing else to do right now. I think the people in the bar that frequent the bar will probably be the people that I always have, like a couple of... Oh. Uh, you like preserves, I know you do. Hi Shane. Six out of ten hearts, lovely stuff. Oh, I don't want to give him a gift, I want to... This weather makes me thirsty, he says. That's Willy. Um, you like diamonds. Pretty expensive thing to keep giving you. Oh, he's already had a gift today, apparently. Alright then. Anyone else coming out of there? Can I go in? Yeah, apparently I still can. Um, Clint, I know you'd probably like a diamond. Fun gift, thanks. Okay, 5 out of 10, that's not too bad. Uh, aquamarine for Emily. I didn't bring any wine for Leah, so that's fine. I know Pam would like that. I know Gus wants oranges. Quick, 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 quick. He's going to bed. He's speechless. He's now at 5 out of 10. There's nothing like a glass of dry red wine on a day like this. He said that before. I love my job. <laughs> okay, aquamarines for Emily. This gift is fabulous, thank you so much. And she's now at seven hearts. She doesn't like it if you give a, if you click on them with like a gift thing and try and talk to them. Um, she's telling me about her friend Sandy, but she's already told me about that last time I spoke to her. So now, Haley, Marnie, Emily uh, are all at seven hearts. Sebastian is at eight. Harvey is at five, I think. No, six. Shane's at six. Jodie's at six. Jas is at six. Wow. I'm actually doing reasonably well. I think I might get some more hearts when I finish the bulletin board as well. Just Elliot. <laughs> Poor Elliot. I'm taking that duck's feather. I will make a special, special effort with Elliot. Because I haven't even thought about... Like, I need to see more of their cutscenes before I can decide who I want to marry or whatever. So I really need to get on top of that. But that might be something that I end up completing like on the in the winter time. 
But then the thing is, as I'm getting like eight and ten hearts and things with people, I'm going to be able to specialise in people a bit more. So it'll be sort of, I, I don't have to bother going up to the ranch to see, um, to see Sebastian for void eggs anymore because I know he's already at eight hearts. So I'll go see Haley with like lots of presents and hopefully get her up to eight hearts and that'll all be cool. So there we are. So we are at the end of the episode. I have no time for any more. But first we need to watch our greenhouse be created. Go little Junimo with your Junimo magic. Okay, and that's uh, that's the end. So that's a cliffhanger. If you want to see what the greenhouse looks like, you got to join me in the next episode. <laughs> I didn't mean to make it a cliffhanger, but um, I don't normally go out and explore things the next day, so it, this is technically part of the next episode, so that's how it's going to stay. Uh, so thank you ever so much for joining me today, uh, and if you liked the episode, then please leave a like in the comment section below, and if you want to follow the series, please subscribe. Um, hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.